In this video, we will discuss the way to represent a set. There are two methods of representing a set, first is, roster or tabular form, which we will discuss in this video, and the second is, set builder form, which we will discuss in the next video. In roster form, we simply use the curly braces, and list out each element within it, separating them by a comma. Let's see examples of representing a set in roster form. Set of odd natural numbers less than 5, which has two elements, 1 and 3. Set of vowels, which consists of five elements. Does the order in which elements are written matter? In roster form, the order in which elements are listed is immaterial. For example, the set of vowels can also be represented in this way. Also, elements in the set are not repeated, that is, all the elements are taken as distinct. For example, set of letters forming the word, food, consists of only three letters, D, O and, F. To represent the sets containing infinite elements, we use three dots, for example, the set of positive natural numbers which contain infinite elements, starting from 1, can be represented in this manner. The three dots are called an ellipsis, and mean continue on. In the same way, we can represent, the set of all integers, which range from minus infinity to plus infinity.